but I don't have one like this, and that's always my excuse, is I don't have this, so I had to buy it, and I bought it. Hi there, Michelle here, and welcome back to my channel, and today's video is a vlog. Now, here's the thing. I did not realize I was making a vlog. I did a bunch of little random things during April that I'm like, oh, I'll put this in a video, and then I ended up not making that video for that week. I put a different video out. So now I just have all this footage and all these little things that I have acquired over the month and no really place to put it. So we're just doing a vlog of April, excluding the last week of April because that hasn't happened yet. The first three weeks of April in a video, this is it. This is like the almost the end of April. So we're going to jump back to the beginning where this vlog starts. For my sister's birthday, she wanted to do a little bit of yarn shopping and thrift stores and to go to this antique store, which we've never been to before. This one is in Niagara Lake and I am really surprised that I've never been here before. Like I'm always driving down that road when I'm going for my little drives and I've never seen it. So we stopped in and this place, although it looks small from the outside, had so many rooms in it. You know how I feel about frogs. <gasps> a turtle. Oh my God, look at the nose. He just wants to go home. Where's Morty? Morty. The Morty. Beef. The beef. I really loved this little teapot. I don't need more teapots. Also, it just looked like a generic teapot. If it looked like a cake, I would have bought it. <laughs> That's a little mouse. He's <laughs> inside corn. Then I found so many vintage postcards and I actually bought a few of them because these ones here were just so cool. Oh man, I should have bought that one. Gosh darn it. These are the postcards that I picked up. I just kind of picked up a few that really like, I don't wanna say spoke to me, but like spoke to me, you know, the ones that like I just absolutely loved. And what I really like about these is a lot of them just look like pictures that your relatives would have taken on vacation, but they're postcards. This one is my favorite one. I just absolutely love it. And then I, I picked this one out because it says midnight snack and it's just some deer in the dark and I thought it was like amazing. My plan for these is I want to get some picture frames and frame them and put them on my wall even though I'm limited to wall space at the moment. I just think that these would look really, really nice in picture frames. We ended up going back to this Lens Mills, which was in Port Dover, because their yarn section at this store, worth it. Although it's like an hour and a half, an hour, an hour and a half away from where we live, it's our favorite one and we will continue to go back to it. They had a huge yarn sale that day, which we didn't know about. I know about it now. I signed up for their email list, so I will be getting their flyers now because I wasn't before and I, I probably should have. When we got there, we were pleasantly surprised that they had a bunch of yarn on sale. Unfortunately, the whole reason we went there is because my sister needed a certain type of yarn, which she only found at this location, that yarn right there. And it was the only yarn basically that wasn't on sale. On our way home, we ended up stopping at this thrift store, which I've been in a couple times. I saw that sweater and I kind of liked it, but it just wasn't my style. I mean, I kind of regret not getting it now, but also at the same time, it wasn't me enough. If there was a bird on it, that would have been different. Here we be. We ended up going to the drive-in for the first time in, in a year, two years. Last year, it wasn't open at all, but they reopened it underneath a different owner now. And like, oh, I'm just so happy because the drive-in is honestly my favorite place to go in the summertime. And I couldn't go last year. And I was like really disappointed. Screen dude. 
It's kind of funny because I was teasing with my sister that we just basically went back to 2013 where I'm working a retail job again. I'm not in a relationship. Back then, me and my sister would just go to the drive-in like two, three times a week. And we just basically went back to 2013 and I'm fine with that. I'm planning on going to the drive-in a lot more this summer. I can't. Where's the... Up behind the Where? <laughs> Of the sun. Where's no. this plane? Okay, up. Why? Why up. do you want? Okay. What? There's a Why? plane. Why do you want to see a plane? Okay, there's also some birds. It's above the birds. It's where that last bird is on the right. I lost right it. Right over there. I lost the plane. It's right by that bird. Right by that bird. <laughs> What's gone? No, by that bird. Oh, I got it. No, it's a bird. I don't know where the plane is anymore. Stop it! I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> Welcome to our drive-in theater. We have a wonderful evening's entertainment lined up for you. And now, on with the show. I have been finding a lot of estate sales lately and I went to this one, but I, I always go to them so late. I should probably go to them earlier on in the morning. Wasn't technically my style, but I did find something really cute and I am excited about. You seen what happened in April? Let's get the yarn haul out of the way. I bought some yarn. I went to Lens Mills, got one of their bags. They're kind of interesting because they're very thin. I thought the bags would be a little bit bigger. I mentioned Lens Mills in a lot of videos and I don't really think I give a good explanation of what it is. So here it is. It's kind of a combination of like a Michaels and an old school dollar store. And when I mean old school dollar store, I mean like the dollar stores from the 90s, but they have so much fabric, they have so much yarn, and then they have a bunch of clothes and random household items is the only way that I can describe this store. I don't know if it's an Ontario thing or a Canadian thing, but I think it's just in Canada, if not just in Ontario. We ended up going to the one in Port Dover. This is the one that I went to a few weeks ago where there's two different stores. So they're both lens mills. One is more home furniture, clothing, kids toys, etc. And then the other one is strictly crafting supplies, yarn, and fabric. We went to the yarn and fabric one because I wanted the yarn. And I didn't know that they actually had a yarn sale that day, but they had a yarn sale that day. When they have their yarn sales, it is much better to go there than to go to Michael's because Michael's prices are a little bit through the roof. And yes, I know Michael's do have their 30% off coupon, sometimes 40% off if you're lucky. But when Lens Mills has a sale, it's a way better sale. Also, they have so many brands that Michael's doesn't carry. The first thing that I bought is this. Look at the size of this yarn. This is a Lion brand yarn. I normally don't buy them because they don't sell them at Michael's. It is a medium four weight yarn. It actually tells me to use a six millimeter crochet hook, but I'll probably use a five. If I had to describe what this is like, it's pretty much like the Michael's Loops and Thread Impeccable yarn. Also the Bernat medium yarn as well. I think on camera it's picking up more white. It's a very off white and I use this color for so many projects. I don't know if you've seen the price tag of how much this is, but if you want to guess how much this is, it's probably less than you think. I mean, unless you have really good yarn stores that have really good prices, but you know. This was originally $12.99. They had a 30% off sale. That's like three, four dollars off of this. So this came out to be like eight, nine dollars. For this, do you know what else is eight, nine dollars? This. This goes for $6.99 at Michael's. Look at the size difference in the impeccable loops and thread. You get 285 yards, which is about 260 meters. And for those who do grams, it's 127.5 grams. This 1,020 yards, which is 932 meters, and you get 454 grams of yarn, okay? The only thing though is that these only come in certain, I mean, they probably come in more colors, but at this Lens Mills, they only carried maybe 10 shades and they were just the basic shades. This yarn is really great because sometimes you wanna do something like really fun with a really fun color, but then you also kinda of wanna mix in just like a plain color. Well, if you have this, this is gonna last a pretty long time. I also got two more yarns, but they're the same yarns, but I got two of them. I got these yarns. I was actually gonna buy a different yarn and my sister came up to me, she's like, oh, this yarn looks like you. I'm like, that yarn does look like me. So let's open it up. It's in the bag. Um, this was in their clearance section. So the Lens Mills has a yarn clearance section. They were $8 each. It is a four medium weight yarn and it wants you to use a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. Look at how pretty 
these colors are. They're so cute. Here's the thing. You've probably noticed I don't really use this type of yarn, like the multicolored yarn, but I have a few ideas of what I want to use this for. I picked up two of them for a future project. I just got to get my current project done and then probably another project after that. And then I think I will do whatever project I wanted to do with these. On the way home, we did stop off at a thrift store. I actually found some things. Also, it was their 50% off day. First thing that caught my eye was this sweater here with the red cardinals on it. It is Northern Reflections. I love that. I washed them, so I cut off the tags, but I think this one was originally $8, so I went down to $4. I think with this, it's going to be more of a home sweater, like, you know, just a sweater to put on while I'm at home because I personally love the Northern Reflections that are more like early 2000s and the 90s. You know what I'm talking about. This is one of the newer ones. So I feel like this is more of just a cozy sweater. So I'll be able to wear it going forward because it's getting warm outside, but inside, you know, when the air conditioning comes on and whatnot, it's going to get cold. I thought that it was actually going to fit a little bit differently. Like I thought it was going to be a little bit too baggy, but it actually, well, it is baggy, but it fits me nicer than I thought. It's so cozy. And I don't have a lot of like indoor sweaters because every time I buy a sweater, it's always a cool sweater and I want like to wear it out so I don't wear it in the house. But I think this one would be a perfect like lounging around sweater. It's very soft. And that's the thing with Northern Reflections. They have really soft sweaters like this one is really soft even for being thrifted and not brand new it's still really soft this is something that i really would like to wear like in the house lounging around editing most of us probably just watching netflix in bed but uh yeah this is a very cozy sweater the next item i found was this here it's just a plain black tee nothing special nothing fancy i believe this was six dollars and then it went down to three dollars i've always just had such a hard time finding just a nice black tee this one actually is from kirkland which is i think the costco brand and it is very very soft but it's also that material that's like not going to cling to you but it's not too oversized i just wanted a nice not so much fitted t-shirt just something that would look nice on me without being too constricting and it's just so hard to find that but yeah it's just a nice black t-shirt like you just i just wanted a basic because <laughs> you know me i don't buy basic things this is how the black tee fits it fits perfectly it fits really nice it's not snug enough that it's like too clingy and too constricting. I hate it when shirts are clingy. I like having a little bit of loose fit, but sometimes you want the nicer fit. You don't want to be too baggy, even though I love my baggy t-shirts. Wanted a plain black tee and here we are. So yeah, it just, it fits nice. The next item I found was this button up short sleeve shirt. What's so funny is that I've been to this thrift store a few times over the last few months and this has been there the entire time. And I would look at it and I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't want to really want to spend $6 on it, but for $3, I'm like sold. I think what's really stopped me from buying it is the material. I'm trying to hear it. It has that very starchy feel to it and it might be the material itself, but also could be maybe it's never been worn. It's never been worn in. I mean, it looks pretty like good. The brand is called Tickets. There was another shirt there too with the same brand, but I just didn't care for like the pattern of it. Here's how this shirt fits. It fits a little, a little, a little weird. And I think it's just because of the material. It's very, like I said, starchy, but it does fit. Maybe if I put some fabric softener on it or something, maybe it would be like a little bit more softer, a little bit more comfortable. But I am glad that I did finally pick it up because I, like I said, I kept seeing it in the store. I'm like, I don't need it. I don't need it. And I'm like, maybe I do need it. This is definitely going to be something that I want to wear this summer. I think this would look so good with shorts. And although I don't like shorts, I don't like how shorts fit on me because growing up in the early 2000s, they were always like the low rise, really short shorts not my style. What I want is I want the shorts that Laura Dern wore in Jurassic Park with like the little pleats and how they flare out. They're so hard to find. And at this point, I'm just like, I should just make my own shorts. I think this year is the year that I make my own shorts because apparently I can't find any that I like wearing. And maybe if I find some that I like wearing, I will wear them. The next thing I picked up was this here. It's just this black fanny pack. I don't know if they go by fanny packs anymore. I've been hearing belt bags or is belt bags something completely different? Growing up in the 90s, this was a fanny pack. I have one right now 
and it says Stranger Things on it, and I love it. The thing is, is that there's not enough pockets in it. Also, if I want to wear a Stranger Things shirt and then I wear a Stranger Things fanny pack, I feel like it's too much Stranger Things, even though like I can't get enough of it. There wasn't a price on it, so when I brought it up, I asked, and the person said that these are typically $4, so I got it for $2 because it was included in the sale. I love it when there's multiple zippers on a thing because a lot of times I like wearing my fanny packs like this, so I like having the zipper up here, whereas the Stranger things one the zippers like down here so if I open it I'm afraid everything's just gonna fall out there's a lot of space in here though that's what I like but at the same time I kind of wish it was a little bit bigger but yeah you know what it's not bad it's just I have actually been looking for a new one for the summer I love my stranger things one but I get not enough pockets and it's too much too much Stranger Things. I was looking at a few, I think they were like the Steve Madden ones and they were in Walmart. I think they were like 30 bucks, which isn't bad, but they didn't have this clip and the adjustable strap and that's kind of what I like so I can wear it just like this and not have to worry about it. The last thing I found there, I don't think I would have picked them up if they were at full price, but because they were half off, I did. That's these sheets. This one's a little bit more worn than this one because I think this one's a top sheet. I have that problem where I just can't buy one. I have to buy both because then I don't want to leave one and then it's abandoned because it was with this for its entire existence and now it's it's not. I don't know. I feel like some people will understand what I mean. They were $4 each, went down to $2 each. So basically I got two for the price of one. I'm looking at this and this looks so familiar. It looks so familiar and I feel like I've seen this in a blue pattern. Like it was blue instead of pink. Like I don't know where I'm seeing this from. I don't think we owned anything growing up like that. Maybe it was like a friend's house or something. But this just looks so familiar. It kind of feels like it could be vintage. Like this could be from the 60s or the 70s. But also I feel like back in the early 2000s that kind of pattern and trend came back for a little bit. And so I feel like this also could have been from the early 2000s. Either way it's both vintage. I want to Use this for fabric. I thought of the best idea that I want to make, and I would I I want to get back into sewing. I want to get back into sewing this summer. Last summer, I think I made like two dresses, and I'm like, I don't care for them. And then I think I made a shirt, and I'm like, I don't care for that. And then I think I made another dress, and I'm like, I don't care for that. It's like all the sewing projects I did last year. I just didn't like them, and because I didn't like them, I just didn't want to sew anymore. But this summer, this summer, I actually want to get into some sewing, and I would love to make this like one of those overalls. I think in Australia they're like dungarees I don't know if that's a term here too if that's what it's also called in Canada I'll show a photo of what I'm talking about but wouldn't this be cute wouldn't this be adorable and I know that this one here is a little bit more worn but I bought the second one so just in case I ran out of fabric I got this and the last thing I'm gonna show you is actually what I found from an estate sale I've always wanted to go to estate sales but what's kind of kept me from going to them in the past is one I didn't really have a lot of money and I never had change on me so when you go to estate sales I think like 90% of the time you need to pay cash. I've never been to one that you don't need to pay cash. It's always been cash. I've went to three so far. And the last one I went to, the person who owned the house and, and their possessions in there weren't technically my style. You know, I'm, I try to go towards more vintage and stuff like that, or like, you know, Northern Reflections grandma kind of style. And that was not the case in this one, but I did find something really cute. I found this really adorable red raincoat. I know I have a problem with coats. I know that. I know that. But I don't have one like this and that's always my excuse is I don't have this so I had to buy it and I bought it. Paid five dollars for this coat. The brand is Nord. It is in a size large. I have one raincoat but it's kind of a raincoat, kind of a fall coat. It's lined inside with flannel so it's kind of warm and in the summertime when it rains I don't have like a light jacket that I can wear. Now I do. It's a really nice light raincoat I do like the color red. I don't really wear red a lot, but I like it when it's mixed in with like pinks and browns and oranges and stuff like that. The buttons are cute. They are tortoise shell kind of, kind of like buttons. I think I want to replace them. I would love to find some buttons that look more retro, more 1960s, even though this coat is probably like 10 years old probably not that old but I would love to find like maybe some like rounded buttons still I think black buttons would look really cute on this I want to keep the black buttons unless I can find really cute pink ones or like flower type ones I'm getting ahead of myself but I would like to switch the buttons if possible this is how the raincoat fits it fits perfectly if you've seen other videos I have a problem with my long arms because of that sometimes shirts 
don't fit right. Like they'll fit everywhere else except for the arms. But look, look, they reach, they reach my hand. It's very important to me. The sleeve length is the right length, but it's cute. It has the hood. There is two pockets. I love pockets. I kind of wish that there was pockets on the inside. If this was a man's coat, there would have been pockets on the inside. Just saying. These little drawstrings, you know, do that. I, I guess you have to like, I have to tie it in the front. Do I tie it in the back? I don't really cinch the waist of any of my coats anyway, so I don't have to worry about it. For $5, this is a really good find. There was this other blue coat and I was really tempted to buy it, but I don't wear enough blue things to be like, I know I'm gonna wear this. Also, I only had like $5 and the coats were $5 each. So I had to like choose and I'm like, I'm gonna wear this one more. I think that does it for this vlog. I know it's a longer vlog than I usually make. So that does it for this video. If you're new to my channel, like sewing, thrifting, crafting, and of course crocheting, why not hit the subscribe button? You can also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok. I think that's it. See y'all have a good day now.